Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add voiceover to Google Slides. For my example today, we'll add voiceover to this presentation here. Now, of course, it's totally up to you what you'd like to include in your voiceover. For me, I'm gonna be recording this paragraph right here. Now, unfortunately, as of recording this video today, Google Slides doesn't have a way to do this natively within Google Slides. So you actually have to record the audio outside and then drop it into your presentation. Now, if you're using a Mac, you can record your voiceover on QuickTime or within GarageBand, which should be built into your Mac. And if you're using a PC, you can use the Voice Recorder app, which is included with Windows 10. Or you can use an online service like this one that I found here, which is called Rev. And this allows you to record a voiceover file online and then download that file back to your computer. And I will certainly leave a link to that down below in the description. Now all we have to do is record our voiceover. Now we recommend not using the built-in microphone that's in your laptop. Those are generally not the best microphones for audio quality, even upgrading to something simple like Apple earbuds, which are like $20 that have the microphone built into the headphone. It's gonna really improve your audio quality. All right, so let's record our voiceover. I'm gonna click record. And once I see that this is going, I'm gonna jump back to my presentation and read this. Briefly describe what you're looking for and you'll receive auditions from the best matched voice talent. And I'll press pause and I can review it. And I wanna get rid of that piece at the beginning and the silence at the end. And now I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Okay, now we're ready to add this audio file to our project here. And I'm gonna to go to insert and then click on audio. And now you can see it's only allowing us to upload files from our drive. So we actually have to upload this file to our drive first in order to get it to show up in our presentation. So let's go ahead and open up my drive and we're gonna drop that audio file that we've created into our drive. All right, now that our file is uploaded to drive, we can go back to our presentation click insert, click audio again, and we should see Rev MP3. So let's go ahead and click that and click select. Once your audio file shows up here, you can see it's quite small. We can play our audio file. We can change the volume that it will play back. And of course, on the right side, we have some format options. So you can have it start playing when you've clicked. You can have it start playing automatically as soon as you open the slide when you're in a presentation. You can have it loop the audio. You can change the volume that it will play back. Uh, stop on a slide change, or you can have it continue even after you've changed slides. And then of course, any size, rotation, positions. I'm just gonna leave it right here in the corner because I think that's a great spot for it. And that's pretty much it. It's really that simple to add another layer of engagement and another layer of depth to your presentations. I hope this tip was helpful for you. And if it was, please feel free to let us know down in the comments and we'll certainly make more videos just like it. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.